What's going on guys? If you had left a comment in the last Saturday video, then you are entered into the giveaway we were doing last week and the winner is, bam, right there, right there. Congratulations. We will be getting a hold of you just shortly to see exactly which prize you would like. If you would like to take part in this week's giveaway, it is an anything you want giveaway from the Rift store. So as long as it's around the 5,000 credit mark or less and it is giftable, you can choose that as the prize if you are the winner. And the way to enter into this contest, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this very video and make sure that you're leaving your character name and server so we know who to get a hold of in order to give you your prize. The winner will be selected in the next Saturday video. Good luck, everyone. Nice, I got a gift in the mail. Schween from Deepwood says, I bought this spectral supply crate for you. All right, let's see what we get out of this spectral supply crate here. And it is... Oh, he bought me four of them? What? Oh man, I get to open four of them. Thank you so much, Sween from Deepwood. I really, really appreciate it, man. Special thanks to Collectian for giving me the epic unholy rib cage artifact here. I really appreciate it, man. And he says, keep up the great videos. I certainly will, and I hope you keep tuning in. And thank you to Zao Domini for giving me this gift here. He says, thank you for posting all the awesome videos. I have seen all your videos. Keep making them and keep up the good work. Thank you for the support, man. Anybody that says they've seen all of my stuff is, you have a special place in my heart, put it that way. All right, let's see what this gift is. I do not know what you are giving me. All right, bam. Uh, Kitsune Supply Crate. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You rock. I really, really appreciate it. And special thanks to Lysonla for giving me four wrecks here. And he says, here you go, sir, for whenever you get around for the Confusing Shaman video. LOL. Yeah, uh, Lysonla is actually in my guild and he's been asking for me to do a Shaman Guide for a bit now. The only thing is, is that I have to make sure that I have plenty of time dedicated to making that video because Shaman is a little bit more of a class that has to be played right in order to be played very effectively. And it's not really one of those that you can slam everything in a couple of macros and be done with it. So the Shaman video is coming up soon, I promise. It's just I want to make sure that I get it right. All right. And... Of course, he tops the charts here with the four Rex giveaway. I, he's actually the same person that gave me three Rex the last time, so he wanted to one up himself. And four Rex is the most I've ever received at one time from anybody. So thank you very, very much. What's up, guys? Graham here. Sorry, I haven't been on too much lately. For those of you that like to play with me in the game and uh, chat with me sometimes. Man, I have just been swamped. This new job had me working about 70 hours this week. So even the Saturday video is not falling on Saturday because I had to work Saturday too. And then I did the Godlike Arena tournament right afterwards. So I'm making the video now to release on Sunday. So hopefully that will be okay with you guys. But I don't really have the footage that I would like to have for you guys. So... I'm basically going to tell you what all is going on with my character right now and give you a little bit of insight so you can see how the Grim Meister is developing in-game on his warrior, which is my main. Well, I've been on the fence with a lot of different specs. The, the flavor of the month right now is very much so 61 Paragon, and you can go back and see my... Uh, 61 Paragon build in the description below this very video. Just go down there and look. It'll have a list of all the builds that I've made guides for. And you can see that the Paragon build is down there. 61 Paragon. And it is absolutely destroying people in Warfronts right now. The problem is, is that it is too strong. 
And what I mean by that is Tryon really doesn't like stuff to be super bursty in PvP. They they allow some burst, but whenever you get an insane amount of burst like Paragon has right now, it's going to get nerfed. It I see a nerf coming. It's it's going to get hit with it, and uh, the new Pyro is also going to get a nerf. That's just my guess. I'm I'm stabbing in the dark here. I don't speak for them. A matter of fact, I don't know if they even like me. I don't know anything. But I do know that they generally tone back anything that has a lot of burst. So the spec that I've always enjoyed playing has been a Warlord variation of some sort. Whether it's Warlord Paragon uh, or else going into Warlord Paladin for CQs and stuff like that. Because I'm usually running Warlord Paladin. Paladin whenever you see me in CQ because I like being able to go to the front line take Tank all that damage, but still kill lots of people while I'm there It's just so much fun for me and with me being in pretty much full Myrmidon relic gear. It's It's pretty easy for me to go up and tank a lot of damage and smash people along the way I don't use a shield whenever I do that. I make sure to use two weapons. That way I'm dishing out as much DPS as possible. And I have lots of ways to get out of the damage if I'm taking a lot of damage. I can survive. And I've got a stun. I've got no permission to die if I start to go down. I've also got a full heal from Paladin. I've got small heals if I need to run away from somebody or something like that. So... There's just a lot of good options with Warlord Paladin right now, and I'm really enjoying playing that all the time. But, Paragon is the flavor of the month. It is the super burst build right now, and it was just, it was good just not too long ago, but nobody was really using it. So now everybody's using it instead of Warlord. But I don't know if that's the right way to go. I know that bringing down healers right now is the main priority since we've got a lot more healers in Warfronts now since the physicians are running rampant and they were so powerful for so long there. Even with the nurse, physician is still really good and a lot of people are complaining about it. So people are thinking that they have to go with a paragon build and that may be true that may be how it needs to be but i'm personally thinking that i need to work on warlord builds because i think paragon is going to get nerfed and i don't want to cater all of my gear around paragon if it's going to get nerfed and if you're running a warlord variation it is definitely attacked attack power that you want to go with uh yeah crit power and all that does help really well but attack power is just amazing in warlord builds it is just you've got so many things in your skill tree that complement attack power that it is almost insane not to go with all attack power on warlord builds um Take for example, let me go ahead and pull this up for you. This is my Warlord Paladin version and you can see the build of it in the description below this video too if you're wanting to see my macros and all of that good stuff. But you have so many different things such as everything is a weapon here that increases attack power and weapon contribution by 25%. Uh, you've got a lot of stuff like that that uh, boosts up attack power. So with all the bonuses to attack power that you get, you might as well just keep stacking attack power because you're just going to get so much buffed up from attack power. And for those of you that do not know, one attack power is pretty much the same as one vengeance, which vengeance pumps up your PvP uh, damage. But attack power can be used in pve as well so if you actually go out and fight some monsters wearing your pvp gear you can kill the monsters without problem so yeah so i'm thinking i'm going to go all warlord and attack power because it takes a long time to 
get your gear all attack power. If you don't know, you can buy the depleted supply crates with 1,800 uh, Warlord Marks or else you can spend some credits on it if you wanted to. And it'll give you sometimes Warlord gear out of it, but the gear has some different stats than the normal gear that you get from the vendors here. Uh, take for example, if I look at my gear here. This is pretty much all the main gear that you get from the vendors and it has no kind of change into it really. Such as, as you can see, this one has attack power as the main stat. Well, you can open up those depleted supply crates and you may get a Warlord helmet that has attack power or uh, crit power instead of attack power. So if you're looking to stack crit power, you can get the items from the depleted supply crates and stack that crit power as high as you can get it. Uh, it's up to you guys whether you want to go that route, but what I'm looking to do is stack attack power. So I'm going to be opening up those depleted supply crates and trying to get attack power to get that as high as possible. That way my Warlord builds will be as powerful as they can be. Is this method that I'm talking about the best way? Who knows? Everybody has their opinions. I'm just looking to break the system, so to say. I want to stack it as high as possible, see what happens, and see how fast people go down. Because whenever I'm out there running a Warlord Paragon build, and I have the tankiness from Warlord as well as all the damage from Warlord. And then I have extra damage from Paragon. It is going to be an absolute damage fest going on. So we're going to see how it pans out. And I know you're already going to have that. I'm going to have the haters. The, the haters come out anytime you suggest anything new. If you do not say that you are running the flavor of the month builds, they think you're terrible. They think that you're absolutely stupid for doing what you're doing, but don't see it that way, guys. If you want to go out and test something, test it, but if it doesn't work, make sure that you go back to something that does work. Don't try to wing it with uh, a build that you tried out and it wasn't that good, but you're thinking that you can make it work. Don't do that, guys. So the game plan right now is to stack the attack power. So as you can see my gear, I have helmet is attack power, cloak is attack power, shoulders is physical crit. So I'm going to try to shoot to get the uh, warlord shoulders that have attack power out of the depleted supply crates. Uh, it's a lot of RNG, man. I may not ever get them. Who knows? But I'm going to try for it. Chest piece is... Uh, physical crit again so I'm going to have to work on attack power piece for that uh, gloves is physical crit so I'm going to have to work for that one belt attack power so I've got that right there legs attack power feet attack power my weapons oh my weapons oh my gosh this is going to be insane because I've got to uh, buy the the item that respects your weapons over into uh, a different stat. So you can either go with the default of uh, physical crit that it gives you or else you can get the crit power or you can get the attack power. But in, anytime that you buy that piece it is a thousand five hundred platinum in order to buy the respec item so you can change your weapon. So I've got to get that for both of my swords and my bow there. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so much money. Ah. Alright, my necklace is physical crit. Oh my gosh, I've got to get so many different items in order to stack this attack power. My trinket is crit power. My ring is physical crit, but my secondary ring is attack power. And I hear that you can get both of your rings attack power. Even though it says unique on it, you can go ahead and get the both attack power and it allows you to equip them. So I'm going to try that just shortly. Um, of course, my Warlord Crystal. And then uh, my Warlord Seal, I have the really good Vengeful Rage Rune Shard that you get from Depleted Supply Crates. 
And also, I'm going to have to get the essences down here, uh, all attack power. So those come from the depleted supply crates, too. Man, I do not get enough Warlord Marks in favor, or Warlord Marks in order to get enough depleted supply crates. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy this reconfiguration item here. Man, it is a lot of money. <sighs> okay, this is the item that we're looking for to uh, reconfigure our uh, weapons. So, man, this is a lot of money. Oh, okay, I'm buying it. I've, uh, I've managed to save up 1,700 platinum and now I'm about to spend 1,500 here. Bam. Alright. So, let's go up to our weapon here. Our primary weapon. Let's click on it. And as you can see, you need a reconfiguration cell in order to go over to attack power or to go over to crit power. And right now the default is physical crit. So we're wanting to go over to attack power here. Oh man. Oh, so much money involved in this crap. I'm such a poor dude. I could not. All right, let's do it. This, this is the right one, right? I do not want to mess this up. All right, this attack power. Uh. Change it into the striking longsword. Okay. So it's got attack power. Let's go over to the auction house and see if we can buy an attack ruin, one of the lustrous ones. All right, I just did a search for the lustrous rage rune shards, and these things are 250 plat each. And of course, I just blew 1,500 on the reconfiguration cell. So I got to go try to scrounge up some money so i hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of uh me kind of giving you an update on what's going on with my warrior hopefully i'll have more interesting videos in the future unfortunately i was so busy this week that i didn't put together any really good footage for you guys but the game plan so far is i want to get the shaman build uh video up pretty soon and also, I would like to do a pyro video of the new pyro build. But um, also, there is a newer physician build that a lot of people are running. And I want to make sure that I'm sharing that with you guys so you can be on the up and up about what all is the flavor of the month and the best thing that's working in Warfronts right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, my name is Grim. And I'll see you next time.